I had some crazy predictions for 2020. Some of them came true. Welcome back to Talking With Jazz with your host, Big daddy O. Some of my predictions were out of control. My first prediction only came true in some countries, and that was that the health system would be overrun. I didn't realize Australia was so bloody good, and our health system did not get overrun. I was actually assured of this by my stepmother. She was a bit angry that I should suggest that this could be an outcome. She also was a little bit angry that I thought people who go to the Formula One probably deserve to get COVID. But uh, anyway, that's not a good thing. You shouldn't be nasty about things like that. So my first prediction was that if left untreated and no action taken, would the 250,000 Australians would die? Because that was the actual number based on the statistics. So, you know, what it was, 1%, depending how old you were. You know, uh, people are going to die. Then I had some more sensible predictions, like toilet paper was going to run out, which you know, it did. And uh, you know, we all stocked up on that. Then there are other predictions, probably my most insane ones. My most insane prediction was that society would collapse. And we'd end up in a post-apocalyptic hell. Where the only currency that counted would be cigarettes and ammunition. Not many people followed my recommendations to stock up on them both. Why don't you have a great day? I hope you enjoyed that story, or at least you learned something. Why don't you subscribe? I make one of these for every day, and you might miss something if you don't subscribe. Something important, because I'm randomly going through things in my mind as they come up. This is my memory. Maybe it's not important. But subscribing will mean you don't miss the notifications, etc. Have a great day.